one, just pronounce that first one for me. Ora. Ice. Ora. Chao. As you can see, everything is like in the kwa. Kwa. It means water. Because we are based to the water line. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Dean Lapridi, I'm back Sunday morning. Uh, the calm before the storm. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, I'm out here with Jenna, my wife. You want to turn the camera around? Oh no, okay. Uh, she's holding the camera today and we got Sparky with us. And um, this morning uh, I'm asking for some help for a friend, uh, Chief Ishikwa, Ishmael Sabudin to some of you, uh, who is very ill right now, uh, having problems with his kidneys, and uh, he hasn't been able to uh, work for his family for the last couple of months. Things have been really difficult. Uh, he's been having to go to Grutuskia Hospital for the dialysis treatment for his kidneys. The last time he joined us was in the 1st of May. Uh, we went up to the one sacred site and uh, it wasn't even a 20, 30 meter climb to the one site and uh, Ishikwa was having incredible difficulty um, just to get to that particular place. So uh, we knew something was not right and he's been in and out of hospital and finally they've they've realized there's a there's a big problem with his kidneys um, so he's needing as much of our loving support that we can give him uh, so today I'm asking for all of you who who know me have perhaps taken a walk up the mountain with myself and Ishikwa shared in some form of prayer or ceremony for humanity and for the planet I want to ask you to take a moment to uh, share a, a prayer for Ishikwa, uh, our Khoisan chief of Ocean View, uh, for a, a full recovery that he can be healed and continue his work with his people in Ocean View, uh, that he can once again teach the children the Kukukuba language of the Khoisan people which he was doing for many years there in Ocean View and that again he'll be able to walk in the mountains with me and do some prayer and ceremony for humanity and for our planet. So uh, if you can find it in your heart to support Ishikwa and his family who are having a real difficult time right now i would appreciate that uh, there are some options for payments directly into the sacred sites foundation the non-profit organization uh, that we can then support uh, ishikwa and pass some funds to his him and his family to help him to get to and fro from krutuskia hospital and uh, and also to help put some food on the table. Uh, Ishikwa has been working with me and the Sacred Sites Foundation for many years. And uh, in the past, I've been in a position to, to help and support him. But at the moment, times are, are tough also for myself. Uh, and the foundation doesn't have the, the support that it needs uh, in order to to help Ishikwa at this time. So if you can see it in your heart to, to offer a few uh, rands to this cause, I would be most grateful and uh, every little bit will help. And more importantly, if you don't have anything to offer in that way, perhaps just take a moment today and uh, or whenever you think of Ishikwa and just send a loving prayer, a prayer of healing, to ask the great creator uh, to send healing to Ishikwa so that he can continue his great work 
and uh, support of his community and support of uh, the indigenous culture of the Khoisan original peoples of this land. So I thank you for this beautiful day and sending you all much love and blessings on this Sunday and until we meet again. Blessings.